everything I've ever wanted in my life. I've worked hard for and I've achieved, but infertility was an obstacle I couldn't overcome back in the early 70s. Doctors weren't providing support services, just medical services, and there was practically nothing to read at the lay level. So I didn't know what to do. At that time, talking about infertility just wasn't uh, acceptable. It was a stigmatized state. The isolation, the loneliness, there was a gap. So after I adopted my three children, I thought maybe I could offer some help to other people in my area through phone counseling. And we started our first support group in uh, 1973, I believe, and incorporated as an organization in 1974, which is how we mark our anniversary. We were a volunteer organization working off my kitchen table. We finally started a newsletter and we charged our few members membership dues to receive the newsletter. The big change came when we got a government grant. It wasn't a huge grant, but it allowed us to move to an office. I never dreamed that it would become anything more than a local support group. When we first started trying to have a baby, we were young and we thought we'd have no problems whatsoever. But after two or three years, we realized that um, it wasn't working. And we, were, we started going to local support groups, and they were run by psychologists who didn't know what an IVF or an IUI was. And we felt really lost. One day, I, just, I had like just a breakdown, sobbing. I kept saying to him, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. And he realized what I meant was, I can't do this alone anymore. I had stacks and stacks of stuff I'd printed out from Resolve, and he started reading it. He couldn't believe that there was this huge resource out there. That was a turning point for us. When we became a team, there was less stress on both of us because I felt like I had a function. I felt like I had a purpose. My wife and I were dating and decided that we wanted to get married and have kids together. We decided we wanted to have a big family. We actually both got checked out about maybe six or seven months into trying after we didn't get any positive pregnancy tests. Everyone said everything looks in working order and you should be able to get pregnant. About two years and nine months later, uh, hasn't happened. We're still in the unexplained infertility category. We all have things happen in our lives and some of them we have to go through alone but we no longer have to go through infertility alone. My wife found Resolve before I did. She has, throughout this process, done a lot of research online, and I would have a hard time finding other people who are going through this infertility journey if Resolve wasn't there. Thousands of people have gone through our support groups and accessed our services. We have our daughter now, and she would not exist if it wasn't for Resolve a group of people that we didn't even know at that point who were willing to do so much to help us to do everything we could to get our dream baby into this world. It's a simple mission, education, advocacy, and support. And the board and the various leaders who have led Resolve have stayed true to that mission. And we are still going strong after 40 years. We know that no matter what direction our path ends up winding, we will have resources and people who have been through this before who can help us sort of find our way.